Hello everyone and welcome to a special little video to make the four Condor battles so much easier for you. As well as being and making it um, a lot more easier on your wallet. Okay, basic premise of four Condor. Um, you're at a giant reactor run by Shinra, but giant Condor has perched on top of it, laid an egg, and is trying to hatch the, hatch the little darling. Shinra doesn't like this, wants to kill the Condor, and take what's ever inside the reactor. Kind of annoying. But we're able to defend the reactor by um, doing a series of things. First, we can go out and help them, or we can give them gill and let them handle it themselves. You don't want to do that, because you get some pretty nice items. Like the first time, you get a magic comb, which is a double growth weapon for Red 13. Really helpful. Um, what you want to do is do the battle. He'll give you a hint on what's going to happen. There are more than 20 enemies there, and they're mostly going to be barbarians. That's, that's pretty helpful normally, but we're going to be cheeky. So, normally what you do is you press X, you hire, an hire a character to um, a mercenary to help out. They have their own strengths and weaknesses, stuff like that. Kind of annoying. But as you notice, you can't go below that red line. Well, you kind of can if you... yeah. So I'm going to teach you a trick that will allow you to go through Fort Condor quickly, uh, with as little gill expenditure as possible, and deal with it without having to worry about the final boss that's in the area. So, what you want to do? Place down a fighter, start the game. Next, slow everything down. And then, just start going down and placing fighters. As you can see, the red line moves. Until eventually, this is as low as you can go. Now, once you're done here, all you need to do is find enemies, or find the characters that are strong as the enemies that are spawning. Sorry for that glitch. So, we have a beast down there. We want attackers. So, let's summon attackers. Oh, that's a fighter. And send them both on the enemy we want. Over here, we have another enemy, which is a bird creature. We want shooters. And if you're quick enough, you can get this done in the first round. Alright. Hold your ground, keep fighting. Alright, keep going. That's pretty much all you need to do. And we did. Wait. And we did. And we won the battle in the first round in under a minute. This can be used at any point in time during the Four Condor attacks. All you need to do is sick two of the enemies that the, um, or two of your characters that are, weak, that are strong against the enemy that are spawned, and they'll take care of it before the next enemy spawns. Make sure to keep that timer, uh, that speed thing down low though. Um, I believe, now I can be wrong about this, but I believe that the faster that goes, or the higher it is, the quicker the enemies will spawn which you still have issues because you have to deal with them afterwards. But other than that, you're, you're all set to go. And afterwards, you'll get you'll get an amount of gill based off the uh, your allies alive. So we got a good amount. And they'll tell you that they found something on the field. Now, if you um, lose the, the battle, which is all your enemies, all your characters die, and they reach the little hut at the top, you have to find an enemy. You won't get the item, but you'll get a constellation prize. Most of the time, you'll just get um, potions or elixirs and stuff like that. Um, bear in mind that this is the this right here. This is right after or, um, uh, the dolphin in Juno. Sorry, uh, this is a glitch. Tinctures are. Uh, let's see here. Oh, nope. Are ethers, I believe. So yeah. They're pretty, it's pretty easy to finish this game, or finish this thing, if you do that trick. I hope it was helpful to you guys, and I hope you have good luck in your, in your own Final Fantasy VII playthrough. Have a great day! Bye-bye!